I found another way doing uh, the 0402 LEDs so I'll just do a little uh, quick video and just show you this is the 0402's if you look at the size of those that's an 0603 that's an 0402 the 0401's I uh, don't have any left at the moment but um, they're a little bit smaller, a little bit narrower than the uh, 402's and I'm going to show how I'm soldering these up so I've got one here and I've got a pair of tweezers I've modified the tips on these tweezers so that I've filed the tips to make a chisel point so what I do with that is I grab half the lead I've now got half the lead there I'm using the the car's flux and I've got a little plastic toothpick uh, applicator so I just touch that so I'm only just doing the one side now I've got the soldering iron a bit of solder here always a fresh tip I've filed that point very uh, very fine I'll put a bit of solder on here now the idea of this is being quick on the end of that that's it just tinned that one's now tinned now what I've done here I've pre-tinned wires I just get the wire I've got a spool of um, magnet wire that I use and putting this one on and I put it on the end I've got to this stage where I only need to wear my magnifying glasses for these at the moment so pretty good okay there's a solder now coming away from the lead so there's one on there now now what that makes it easy I can take that out of there holding you can see the lead there I do the other side here now I'll put a little bit of solder on that I clamp the wire I can bring the second wire I haven't cut the wires yet I'll bring the second wire now I've got to trim that back yep that's pretty good now yeah, that's on there so there's the two wires now soldered on and they're both coming away the same direction I'll just trim that one back a little bit of overhang I'll trim it off afterwards not before now there's that now now that I've got one on there now I'll cut these and I'm not worried about which is anode and which is cathode and I'll go and put my soldering station I'm sitting there at 500 uh, Fahrenheit at the moment I'll just take that up to about 700 Fahrenheit so I can burn off the insulation on this so I'll, uh, I'll burn this off now show you get my solder get the camera down a bit lower there we, go, there we go now all I'm doing there fresh solder get on the end of that end of your leads and just burning off the enamel on the magnet wire and you need about 700 that's what I just work at it works in for me now there's that take that down again don't leave it sitting up there too hot we get the lead tester out there's a beautiful thing of a lead tester there she is she's on so there's the lead so what we've got there now is these are Cal scale marker lamps uh, drilling them out so I've drilled out the base and I've drilled out the four lens ports on this have a closer look at that so we go and stick the lead up inside there going to short out because I'm touching the um, I'm shorting out the um, solder pads but 
to fix that up I use Zapper Gap using a medium uh, super glue and all I do with that is to run the super glue over it give it a dose of super glue and let that dry and what I've got here is got several other ones I'm just letting them dry I just put a little clothes peg on them so these are ones that I've already already pre-made before and here's a couple that I'm making for a made in Denver these are precision scale uh, marker lamps classification for a locomotive so uh, they're sitting there ready to go and once that glue is dried we can put take that one out and we'll put this other one in There's that one. Now that's already been coated. So if I put that inside, I won't get that flickering anymore. There's your marker lamp. And you can tint that, of course, with your paints and that. I just roll that around. Doesn't matter. It's not shorting out now because it's not the solar pads can't touch the um, the brass brass casting and short out. Of course, the uh, super glue's doing insulation. And all I do with that there now to put that in there I'm using Arlene's clear tacky glue and I'll put that a bit on there and we jam that up in there and there you go there's your marker lamp done and just let that dry and uh, and that's ready to go that's how easy it is getting the configuration doing the solder pads now uh, there's your 0402 so what we're doing and this is, the, this is the key to it making ditch light configuration we're soldering the very first wire on here so I'm clamping on this part here and this is the part that I, I tin and I put the wire across there and then the wire is soldered on the next wire is I grabbing clamping this wire with the tweezers which leaves this hanging out and I bring the next wire across and down so the next wire gets soldered on so both wires are exiting of course that's a rectangular shape when I'm fitting that up inside the hole inside the hole there that's going to fit up in there easily because the two wires are sitting lengthways with the surface mount lead draw that sideways you've got your resin light package and your solder pads at this end here and at that end there so that's the side view there's your top view and with your surface mount or your resin package there you can turn it over or whichever way you like. I like soldering to the back so the wires are coming off the back on both of them and away that's what they call ditch light configuration for, and for doing your um, marker lights that way there you go now that's that fella and it's as simple as that putting those in and resistors uh, using like for that something around about a 4.3 for DCC